LibreOffice Writer's outline folding feature allows you to hide or show content under headings. This content may include text, images, tables, frames, shapes, and text boxes. When working with longer documents, this feature can allow you to scroll more easily to other areas of the document. I have a four-page sample document open. To turn on Outline Folding, I'll go to Tools, Options, LibreOffice Writer, View. Under Outline Folding, I'll make sure only Show Outline Folding Buttons is selected. I'll click OK. A small down pointing arrow appears in the margin as I move my mouse pointer over first level one heading. I'll activate the magnifier so you can see this better. Watch what happens when I click on this arrow. The text between this heading and the next heading disappears. The arrow in the margin now points to the right. I'll turn off the magnifier so you can see what has happened in the document more easily. I'll click on the right pointing arrow. The text between this heading and the next heading now reappears. Each heading has similar arrows. When I click on the arrow beside first level 2 heading, the text between this heading and the next heading disappears, including the note box. I'll display the text again. In both instances, only the text between the heading I clicked on and the next heading disappeared and reappeared. I'll go to Tools, Options, LibreOffice Writer, View. This time I'll also check Include Sublevels. I'll click OK. I'll go to first level one heading in the document. I'll click on the down arrow beside it. This time, everything between first level one heading and second level one heading disappears, including the sublevel headings and their contents. I'll click the down pointing arrow beside second level one heading. Everything between this heading and the next heading of the same level disappears, including the image. I'll click the down pointing arrow beside third level one heading. Everything beneath this heading disappears, including the table. I can now easily move between the major headings. I can expand the content under any of these headings without dealing with the content under other headings. I'll click on the right pointing arrow beside first level one heading. Everything between first level one heading and second level one heading appears and I can work on this. I'll click on the arrow beside first level two heading. All the contents between first level two heading and second level two heading disappears, including the level three headings and their content. I'll show you another way you can work with outline folding. I'll hit my F5 key to open the navigator. I'll lengthen the navigator so you can see all of the entries. In the headings area, I'll right click on first level 2 heading. I'll go to outline folding, toggle. The content between first level 2 heading and second level 2 heading reappears. I'll hide it again by right clicking on first level 2 heading in the navigator and going to outline folding toggle. Notice that the subheadings between first level 2 heading and second level 2 heading are hidden in the navigator as well. There is now no way of knowing in the navigator that there are subheadings beneath first level 2 heading. Only the fact that no content appears in the document between first level 2 heading and second level 2 heading indicates that content is hidden. That and the small arrow in the margin beside first level 2 heading. I'll scroll down to second level 1 heading in the document. 
In the navigator, I'll right click on Segment Level 1 heading and select Outline Folding Toggle. The content between Second Level 1 heading and Third Level 1 heading appears in the document. This includes an image. Notice Image 1 in the image area of the navigator. I'll right click on Second Level 1 heading in the navigator. I'll select Outline Folding Toggle. The content in the document between second level one heading and third level one heading disappears, including the image. In the navigator, image one turns gray, indicating that I can no longer select it in the navigator. I'll expand the area beneath third level one heading and second level one heading. You may find outline folding beneficial in your workflow in order to limit scrolling through long documents. But remember, you don't need to scroll if you use the navigator. Using the navigator, you can quickly jump from one area of your document to any of the headings. I'll double click on outline folding in the navigator. The cursor moves to the first of the document. You can also jump directly to any image, table, section, hyperlink, etc. I'll double click on Table 1 in the Navigator. I discuss various ways to use the Navigator in other videos and courses. There is one other thing to know about Outline Folding. Any content hidden using Outline Folding will not appear in the document if the document is printed or exported to PDF. Click on More in the gray area beneath this video to find links to my other videos and courses.